Hi, welcome to Vermin Hunters TV with me, David Thomas. And me, Andy. This is a follow up video to the first rat shoot of 2013 clip which we put up earlier in the year. So, we're just going to take you through the footage and let you see how we got on. And this is what we're protecting. Social behaviour. Rats commonly groom each other and sleep together. As with dogs, rats create a social hierarchy and each rat has its own place in the pack. Rats are said to establish an order of hierarchy so one rat will be dominant over another one. Groups of rats tend to play fight, which can involve any combination of jumping, chasing, tumbling and boxing. Play fighting involves rats going for each other's necks while serious fighting involves strikes at the other one's back ends. If living space becomes limited, rats may turn aggressive behaviour which may result in the death of some animals reducing the burden over the living space. Rats, like most mammals, also form family groups, a mother and her young. This applies to both groups of males and females. However, rats are territorial animals, and meaning that they usually act aggressively or scared of strange rats. Rats will fluff up their hair, hiss, squeal and move their tails around when defending their territory. Rats will chase each other, groom each other, sleep in group nests, wrestle with each other, have dominant squabbles, communicate and play in various other ways with each other. Huddling is an additional important part of rat socialisation. Huddling is often supposed to have a heat conserving function. Nestling rats especially depend on heat from their mother since they cannot regulate their own temperature. Huddling is an extreme form of herding. Other forms of interaction include crawling under, which is literally the act of crawling under one another, walking over also explained in the name. There is also allo grooming, so called to distinguish it from self grooming. And lastly, there is another type of contact called nosing, where a rat gently pushes with its nose on another rat near the neck. Well done Andy, it was taken with a lamp. You see what Andy's doing here, he's uh, using his handheld night vision monocular to spot them and then pick them off with a lamp. This technique you have to be uh, very quick. You sort of uh, float the lamp probably about six foot above the uh, rat 
Then once you're ready, bring it down, take the shot. Well executed. Oh, yeah. It's down and out that one, Andy. Well done at the bottom. Brilliant shot. Shooting, Andy. Right, there's my size nines, so you can just see the size of these rats. Here's a prime example. You can see the long line there. where the rat's tail's been. So he's a big rat, this one. And here is a rat's tail imprint on the snow. And as you can see, this trail is full of urine. Burrowing. Rats are known to burrow extensively, both in the wild and captivity. If given access to a suitable substrate, rats generally begin a new burrow adjacent to an object or structure, as this provides a sturdy roof for the section of the burrow nearest to the ground surface. Burrows usually develop to eventually include multiple levels of tunnels, as well as a secondary entrance. Older male rats will generally not burrow, while young males and females will burrow vigorously. Communication. Brown rats are capable of, of producing ultrasonic vocalisation. As pups, young rats use different types of ultrasonic cries to elicit and direct maternal search behaviour, as well as to regulate their mother's movements in the nest. Although pups will produce ultrasounds around any other rats at 7 days old, by 14 days old they significantly reduce ultrasound production around male rats and defensive response. Well, we hope you enjoyed all that footage, and if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up on the channel, and uh, you'll see more footage from Sai and myself.
Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Mark. <laughs> you have to say it after, after me, right? This is my son. Hi. Right, don't laugh, right? Hello and welcome to Vermin Hunters TV with me, David Thomas. And Andy. <laughs> and Andy.